Why, hello there, everybody. My name is New Hampshire. And today I am happy to tell you all about me. So, anyways, let's begin. New Hampshire, a U.S. state in New England, is defined, is defined, is defined by its cramped towns and large expanses of wilderness. In the north, White Mountain National Forest is known for winter sports areas. At Mount Washington, the region's highest peak, with a cog railway to its summit. Also, in the White Mountains are moose, black bears, and part of the Appalachian Trail. So anyways, my governor is Chris Sununu, which is in the Republican Party. So this is Chris Sununu. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, our motto. Anyways, my motto is live free or die. My Senators are Maggie Hassan, which is in the Democratic Party, and Jian Shaheen, which is also in the Democratic Party. So anyways, here's the picture of Maggie Hassan. And here's a picture of... Jian Shahid. Anyways, and yeah. Anyways, my mid wage is seven dollars and twenty five cents an hour. Anyways. My population is 1.389 million as of 2021. See, look. That's me. I'm above Maine and Vermont. And, yep. Anyways, my capital is Concord. So, Concord... Um, is my capital of New Hampshire. It's home to the State House, a gold domed building dated, dating from 1819, with a visitor center and the Hall of Flags, music, comedy, dance, and theater are staged at the Capitol Center for the Arts. The Mick 
Olaf Shepard Discovery Center is a science museum with interactive space-themed exhibits and a planetarium. The Susan and McLean Audubon Center has trails and wildlife. I mean wildlife. So, so the population is 44,006 as of 2021. The unemployed the unemployment rate is 2.3 percent as of November 2022. The mayor is Jim Bully. So here's a picture of him now. Let me get you closer. Yep, there he is. And he was also, and he was born in 1966. And his education is University of New Hampshire. Anyways, let's move on. And the area code is area code 603. So let's move on anyway. Anyways, time to show you my cities. Concord is not my only city in New Hampshire, but there are other cities you can go, such as Manchester, Portsmouth, Nashua, Keene, Lebanon, Rochester, Derry, Hampton, Conway, um, Lacanea, Londonderry, Exeter, Merrimack, Lincoln, Littleton, Hudson, Hanover, uh, Guilford, Meredith, Hookset, Claremont, Milford, Seabrook, Durham, Winham, um, Wolfeboro, and more. Anyways, those are the only cities I can tell you. <sighs> Anyways, let's move on to my, um, Oh, my landmarks. Anyways, let's move on to my landmarks. Anyways, the landmarks I have are Flume Gork, Omni Mount Washington Resort, USS Albacore Museum, Sang Gardens National Historic Park, Robert Frost Farm State Historic Site, Franklin Pierce Homestead State Historic Site, um... Castle in the Clouds, Canterbury Shaker Village, Sh Sh Strawberry Bank Museum, Franconia Notch State Museum, Milford Glad House and Garden, Ice Castles, Wentworth Coolidge Mansion, Cranmore Mountain Resort, and even Kenobi Lake Park. And yeah, anyways, those are my landmarks. You can go to me one day. It is now time for my flag. Here is the picture of my flag. Here it is. So, the flag is just blue, blue, blue. With a, ye a, ye a, with a blue seal on a yellow outline. And look, there is, a no there, is a there is a circle inside with a yellow outline. And we can see that there is... There are some leaves surrounding it. With cranberries. They also remind me of mistletoes, but it is not Christmas. And a anyways, we can see a ship on the sand, even though it's supposed to be on the sea. Anyways, we can also see the blue sea and gray, which represents rock. We can see a white sky. We can see the sun setting. And we can also see some flags on the ship. And we can see, we can hardly see that it says, uh, seal of the state of New Hampshire. And there's two stars in between them. Yeah, there's the number 1776. Probably that is the number I was born. Anyways, surrounding the circle, there are a bunch of stars and a bunch of mistletoes. But it is not Christmas. Silly me. <laughs> Very hilarious. Anyways, let's go to my fast facts. 
Anyways, um, my nickname is the Granite State. My statehood was in 1788 as the Ninth State. My biggest city is Manchester. My abbreviation is NH. My state bird is Purple Finch. My state bird is the Purple Finch, and the state flower is the Purple Lilac. Anyways, it's time for the history. Ahem. <clears throat> Places, everybody. Here we go. Ahem. <clears throat> People lived in what's now New Hampshire, at least, 12,000 years ago. Thousands of years later, Native American tribes, including the Abenaki and the Penacook, lived on the island. French and English explorers began to arrive in the 1500s, and the English established the first permanent European settlement in 1623. The French and English fought during the late 1600s and early 1700s. And at first, the Native American tribes tried to stay out of the wars, but eventually they sided with the French. And as the British won more battles, the Native Americans were forced out of the region. In 1776, during the American Revolution, during the American Revolutionary, during the American Revolution, New Hampshire became the first colony to create a constitution and declare its independence from Great Britain. In 1788, it was named the Ninth U.S. State. So why is it called that? Well, here's why. You see, Englishman John Mason named New Hampshire after Hampshire County in England, where he lived as a boy. He invested it in building on the land, but never left England to see it. New Hampshire is nicknamed the Granite State because it has a history of granite mining. Anyways, I have something else to show you. I have, I also want to show you the state tree, which is the white birch tree. And there's the state animal, which is the white-tailed deer. And this is my state quarter. Very cool. And shiny. And silver. Anyways, time for my geography and land farms. Anyways, New Hampshire is bordered by Canada in the north, Maine and the Atlantic Ocean in the east, Massachusetts in the south, and Vermont in the west. It can be divided into three different regions. The forested White Mountains in the north include Mount Washington at 6,288 feet tall. This is New England's highest point. The White Mountains also used to feature the old man of the of the mountain, a granite formation that looks like a man's face. But in 2020, I mean, but in 2003, the stones collapsed. The eastern New England upland covers most of the central and southern portions of the state. It includes the hilly Merrimack Valley. The hills and lakes region, which features Lake Winnipesaukee, the state's largest animal and the Connecticut River Valley, which forms New Hampshire's western border. This region also contains Mount Monadnock, one of the world's most climbed mountains. The coastal lowlands cover the southeastern corner of the state, where it touches the Atlantic Ocean. Here you can find the sandy beaches along the coastline and wetlands farther inland. Time for my wildlife, everybody. Anyways, eastern red bats, raccoons, white-tailed deer, which is my state animal, and moose are among New Hampshire's mammals. The state is home to birds such as greyhound owls, hairy woodpeckers, and nighthawks. Common reptiles include black racer snakes, painted turtles, and snapping turtles. And amphibians like bullfrogs, salamanders, and American toads live throughout the state. Eastern white pine, sugar maple, white oak, 
blue spruce, and black walnut are a few of New Hampshire's trees. You can also find wildflowers such as purple aster, evening primrose, buttercup, and an orchard called Pink Lady Slipper. A state wildflower. Time for my natural resources. Ahem. <clears throat> Although New Hampshire still has granite quarries, it's better known for mining sand and gravel. The state also mines some semi-precious stones, including garnet and burial. Time for the fun stuff. And then we'll go straight to my campus. And then we're done. So anyways, maple sundaes and cider donuts are popular desserts in New Hampshire. New Hampshire's famous names include President Franklin Pierce, journalist Horace Greeley, and author Dan Brown. Strawberry Bank in Portsmouth, the site of the state's original settlement, has 32 historic buildings where people can watch costume performers act out life from colonial times. Mount Washington held the record for over half a century for highest surface wind speed, 231 miles per hour. And, and of course, 371 kilometers per hour. Comparable to winds in Category 5 hurricanes and F4 tornadoes. Time for my counties now. Uh, anyways, I have over 10 counties. All of which are active. However, I, they only provide a few services. Anyways, five counties were created in 1769 when New Hampshire was still an English colony and not a state. During the first subdivision, states and the counties. But the 10 more counties were added like a couple of years later, I think. Anyways, I'm gonna tell you my counties right now. So the counties I have are Belknap County, Carroll County, Cheshire County, um, 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 Coos County, Grafton County, Hillsborough County, Mer Merrimack County, Rockingham County, Stratford County, Sullivan, and Sullivan County. And there you have it, you guys. And there you have it, kids. Everything you need to know about me, New Hampshire. Ugh. I'm exhausted today after telling you all about me. And remember, I was established in 1788 as the ninth state in the United States. And I only had five, I only had five counties because I was still not a state. But then I was in 1788 as the ninth American state. Anyways, I hope you learned something new about me today. Well, I did too. I just want to say out one thing. Well, I think I learned New Hampshire only had five counties because it was still not a state. And that's the only thing I can tell you. Okay, you guys, I think I am off to go mining. See you soon. Uh, bye. <laughs>